as usual, it's very hot in the studio. Uh, excuse me. And I want to read you something that I found in the paper last week. But before I do, I'd like to say, hey, did you see me at the rally? I mean, were you there? It seems like there are 200,000 people there, and I'm sure at least 60 to 90 percent of my viewers were there because how else could they have had 200,000 people there? <coughs> Excuse me. It was a very good rally. There was an interesting article in the Village Voice today about it that said it only went so far. And this was a feeling amongst the people I was with. And I'll tell you how I feel about it. Sure, the rally was not left-wing anarchist communists. It wasn't. It was sort of middle of the road. But the main thing, it's not that people agree with us or our politics. The priority is to stop the nukes. And I don't care why they're there or how they're there, but they were there. And that's the important thing, and that's a priority, and we've got to remember that. It doesn't matter whether everybody agrees with us on every point, because this is important. And as far as other actions go and other rallies and other things, that's something else again. I say, fuck anyone who doesn't agree with me. But for this issue, I say the priority is shut them down. And you know what I mean. So this brings up a very interesting article that, an advertisement that I found in the New York Post. I'll read it to you in its entirety. Big letters. Early microwave radiation discovery could save your life. And then it has this just very muddy picture of nothing, believe me. And then the copy reads as follows. Microwave detector gives early warning of harmful microwave ovens. Many thousands of home microwave ovens may be exposing families right in their homes to the dangerous effects of microwave radiation. Now you can test your own microwave oven to find out if it is leaking these unsafe raves to you or other members of your family. The microwave detector will indicate any dangerous leaks. The microwave detector costs only $9.95 plus a dollar postage and handling. Even a child can operate the microwave detector. By simply passing your microwave detector around the closed door of your microwave oven, your detector will begin to flash. If there are any dangerous leaks emitting from your oven, the signal tells you to call the repairman immediately. Your oven is unsafe. The microwave detector has no electric wires or batteries. It draws power directly from any dangerous leaking microwave oven. Now that's freaky. If you have the slightest doubt of the safety of your microwave oven, order today. It's better to be safe than sorry. If you are not totally satisfied within 14 days, simply return your microwave detector in good condition and receive a full refund satisfaction guarantee. Now, the fun part of this is the name of the company, and I kid you not, it is S&M Electronics. <laughs> so what are they trying to tell us here? Have you heard? This is very strange. Now, my feeling is, if this fucker doesn't work, and you pass it around your oven, Nothing's going to flash. You think everybody in your family and your dog and your cat is okay, but really they're not. So I say throw out the microwave oven and don't eat in restaurants that use them. And you know, like that, you know, there's certain pacemaker people, they have to be told, you know, like, you know, there's a little sign in the front of the restaurants, microwave ovens in use. And it's the same way as they used to say, you know, margarine in use. Now it's microwave ovens in use. So, Weird, right, everybody? Now, another slightly bizarre event. I, unlike some other people, who will later be nameless, I have a family. The head of this family is my father, Pops Crystal. Now, my father was very thrilled to read this New York Magazine article. <laughs> And he wrote me a letter to tell me so, and I'd like to read it to you because it's so amazing. Okay? Dear Coke, she said, he says, now I have two New York Magazine write-ups. I sent him one, someone else sent him one. They are terrific. Suggest as follow, numero uno. 
go to a trick toy store, buy Broadway type store with false teeth, eyes, etc., etc., buy a dozen suitable falsies, teeth, mustaches, etc., etc. Two, get reprints of New York Magazine article. Three, write at least 12 TV stations, quotes, let Coca Crystal get her teeth into raising your audience level. Or, you bet your father's mustache Coca Crystal would raise audience viewing. Now, he's always looking out for me. I kid you not. Now, he, so he goes on to say, this worked for my college roommate sister 33 years ago. <laughs> she was on a small station in Troy, New York, and was made a producer in New York City, the Big Apple, <laughs> on the letter and her track record, think about it. Now, my father wanted me to do this to get a job at a newspaper 10 years ago, and now he's doing the same thing again. So I just want you to know the status of the employment situation here. I think there's a little bit of brightness on the picture, but what do I know? Um, I thought I'd share some of that with you. I would like to talk a little more about the rally, if I might, just for a minute. We saw a lot of old friends and some people that have been on the staff here and have been guests here and <clears throat> it was a really nice day and it was just so many people we couldn't believe it and there was good health food to eat and I don't see anything wrong like in the in the Village Voice article the, the writer found it a little bit depressing and or boring that in former times when he went to these no nuke things they were like food faddists and all this. I say right on that there weren't some bread hot dogs there, that there wasn't Coca-Cola. I say fuck that shit.